Yes, Anshi, you can start. Thank you, Bhargavi. So, PA School of Business Management, in association with the Department of Mathematics, Gujarat University, welcomes you all on the fourth day of fundamental of mathematics workshop. Our today's speaker is Ms. Kavita Rabari. Currently, she is doing a PhD under PhD under the guidance of Dr. Minta Etta from the Department of Mathematics at Gujarat University. He has qualified various competitive examinations like NET, ESET, and GO. So now I, Anshi, will invite Ms. Kavita Ravari to deliver a lecture on the topic time, distance, and speed. Over to you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the fourth day session. The topic is speed, distance, and time. A portion of it is discussed in previous lecture. We will discuss more problems related to the topic to clarify the concept. So let's begin. Okay, what is speed? The rate of change of position of an object in any direction. It is measured as the ratio of distance to the time in which the distance was covered. So you can define speed as speed is equal to distance upon time whenever distance and time is given in a specific unit. The SI unit is given by meter per second. SI unit stands for International System of Units. Next. What is distance when an object is moving with a certain speed at a particular time, the displacement made by an object is called the distance. Unit of distance is generally kilometer and meter. As we know, distance is equal to time into speed whenever time and speed is given. See the example. If a person is running at a speed of 20 km per hour and he runs for two hours, he will be covering a total distance of 40 km. Here, speed is given as well as time is given. The speed is 20 km per hour and the time is two hours. The units are same and for both the parameters, therefore, by applying the formula, is distance is equal to time into speed that is doing 20 into 2 you can get 40 kilometer next if a person drives his car in the speed 50 miles per hour how far can he covers in 2.5 hours how far can he cover it means here you have to find the distance and what is given speed is given which is 50 miles per hour and the time is given, that is 2.5 hours. So how will we solve this? Here, speed is 50 miles per hour. So the distance covered in one hour will be 50 miles. Then the distance in 2.5 hours will be 2.5 into 50 miles. So you will get 120, 125 miles. So the person can cover 125 miles of a distance in 2.5. In the next example, if a person travels at a speed of 40 miles per hour at the same rate, how long will he take to cover 160 miles distance? How long will he take? It means that you have to calculate the time with speed. Speed is 40 miles per hour. The formula to find the time when distance and speed are given is time is equal to distance upon speed. So time taken to cover the distance, that is 160 miles, is time is equal to 160 upon 40. 
hours. So the person will take four hour to cover 160 mile distance at the rate at meter per second. Next one is what is time? Time is a quantity which governs the order of sequence of an occurrence. In absence of time, the actual sequence of any occurrence or incident would be lost. Units of time, hours or seconds are mostly taken as the unit of time. See the example. How many seconds Raman will take to cover a distance of 400 meters if he runs at 20 km per hour. See, here, how many seconds? It means you have to calculate the time. What is given? Distance is given, that is 400 meters, and speed is given, that is 20 km per hour. But in these type of questions, one should be very careful about the units. As your distance is in meter and your speed is in kilometer per hour. So you need to calculate, you need to convert one of the parameter into another so that all the units will be similar. See, your Raman's speed is 20 kilometer per hour. I'm changing this unit into meter per second so that my speed unit and the distance unit will be same. For what? For that, I am multiplying 20 into 5 upon 18 so that I am getting the speed that is 50 upon 9, but it is in meter per second. The formula for time is distance upon speed. By putting the values of distance, that is 400 meter, into speed, that is 9 upon 50, I am getting 72 seconds. It means Raman will take 72 seconds to cover a distance of 400 meter if he runs at the speed of 20 kilometer per hour. These are the basic questions that are related to the concepts and you can easily conclude that if you know two things you can calculate the third one using both the two parameters table with units say distance if you measured in mile and time in hours the speed will be miles per hour as the formula for speed is distance upon time abbreviations that you can use for that is mph if you measure the distance in kilometer and time in hours the speed will be kilometer per hour. An abbreviation is, you can see here, km upon h. If you measure the distance in meters and time in hours, the speed will be meters per hour. An abbreviation is m upon h. If you measure the distance in meters and time in seconds, the speed will be meters per second. If you measure the distance in feet and time in seconds, speed will be what? feet per second. In the similar way, if you measure the distance in centimeters and time in seconds, the speed will be centimeters per second. Here you can see that distance can be of different units. That is, it may be in miles, kilometers, meter, feet, centimeters. Time can be in hours and seconds. It depends on the questions that what they require. You need to convert the unit in the following manner according to the questions. Okay. C. Important formulas for speed, time, distance, problems. First one is, what are the relation between speed, time, and distance? As we have seen, speed is equal to distance upon time. So, in a question, the distance and speed is given. You can use the same formula and you can find the time by using the formula that is time is equal to Whenever distance and speed is given. In the similar manner, whenever in a question speed and time is given, you can calculate distance that is speed into time. If any variable, any value is given in kilometer per hour, and if you wanted to convert that into meter per second, you just need to multiply the variable by 5 upon 80. It means x kilometer per hour. Meter per second. In this way, meter per second, if you wanted to convert in kilometer per hour, you will have to multiply the unit by 18 upon 5. It means if your x is in meter per second, you need to convert it 
and kilometer per hour you need to multiply it by 18.5 then the value you get is in kilometer per hour. These are the things that are definitely going to help you by solving the problem. So say, if the ratio of the speed of A and B is A ratio B, then the ratio of the times taken by them to cover the same distance is 1 by A upon 1 by B, that is B ratio A. See, we have speed, that is distance upon time. If for a constant distance, what my relation is? For a constant distance, speed is inversely proportional to the time. Therefore, for the ratio of speeds, that is A ratio B, the ratio for the time will be reciprocal of that, which is B ratio A. Next one is, suppose a man covers a certain distance at x kilometer per hour, an equal distance at y kilometer per hour. The speed during the whole journey is given by the formula 2xy upon x plus y but the unit for the speed is kilometer per hour. Next, if the time taken by a train in passing a pole or a standing man is same as the time taken by the train to cover a distance equal to its own length. What does this mean? Say the example, if a train covers 85 meters in passing a signal post. What is the length of the train? Length of the train is 85. As the statement itself states that the time taken by the train to cover a distance is equal to its own length. The time taken by the train of length L meters in passing a stationary object of length p meter is equal to the time taken by the train to cover a distance equal to l plus p meter. See, if a 28 meter long train passes a platform, the platform is in a stationary motion, right? It is not moving, which is 85 meter long. Find the distance covered by the train and passing the platform. What would be my distance? If I'm using the above statement, the length of the train plus length of the platform, so I'm getting here the distance between 28 plus 85, that is 130. In the same direction with velocity q meter per second and velocity v meter per second, where q is greater than v and their relative speed will be equal to the difference of their speed, that is q minus v meter per second. For example, two trains are moving in the same direction, where they are moving in the same direction, okay? With a speed of 19 km per hour and 25 km per hour respectively, it means one of the train is moving with the speed 19 km per hour. be the relative speed. Relative speed would be the subtraction of both the terms that is 25 minus 19, 6 km per hour. Other with velocity, v meter per second, then the relative speed will be equal to the sum of their speeds that is u plus v meter per second. In the opposite directions with the speed of 4 meter per second and 7 meter per second and their relative speed as I have speeds of both the trains and they both are moving in the opposite directions. So according to the above statement, the required speed should be the addition of both the speeds that is 4 plus 7 which is 11 meter per second. Moving on, if two trains of length A meter and B meter are moving in the opposite directions at U and V respectively, then the time taken by the faster train to cross the slower train is A plus B upon U plus V. See here, the objects are moving in the opposite direction, therefore we are adding both their speeds 
and here the length would be length of train 1 plus length of train 2 and the time is equals to distance upon step therefore you are getting a plus b or a plus b in the similar way two trains of length a meter and b meter are moving in the same direction at u meter per second and u meter per second respectively then the time taken by the faster train to cross this level is a plus b upon u minus v here u minus v is because they both are moving in the same direction and in that case the relative speed would be subtraction of the two speeds of the train next if two trains start at the same time from point a and b towards each other and after crossing they take a and b power in reaching b and a respectively then the ratio of a and b is under root b ratio under root a where a and b are the time that are in hours Now see the example, a train 150 meter long running with a speed of 90 km per hour crosses a bridge in 26 seconds. What is the length of the bridge? Okay, I have to find the length of the bridge where it is given, what is given? Distance uh, traveled by train 1 and the speed is given. Whose speed is given? Train speed is given. So by using, let's suppose I have to calculate the length of the bridge. I am assuming that length of the bridge is 1 meter. Distance traveled will be length of the train plus length of the bridge. Here, distance would be 150 plus y. Implies 150 plus y, it means your distance would be speed into time. Here, speed is in 90 kilometer per hour but your distance is in meter so you need to convert one of the unit into another so that all the units could be same. so i am multiplying here 90 with 5 upon 18 so that my speed is in meter per second and my time is in seconds therefore by solving this equation i am getting length of the bridge is equals to 500 meter i am using here the concept of relative speed in which one object is in motion that is train is in motion and your bridge is in stage now moving on see two trains are moving in opposite direction 30 km per hour and 24 km per hour and slower train in six seconds the time interval is six seconds i have to calculate the length of the faster train see a strain are traveling in the opposite directions so the relative speed is sum of the speed of the trains this is what 30 plus 24 that is 54 kilometer per hour by multiplying it with 5 by 18 i am getting 15 meter per second as faster train crosses the man in the slower train so distance travel of the faster train is 15 into 6 is equals to 90 meter next one is 250 meter long train crosses a platform of length 350 meter in 50 seconds find the time of train to cross a bridge of 230 meter I that I here wants to calculate the time of the train. See, let s, I don't know what is the time of train, let s meter per second with the speed of train. Distance travel could be, again I am applying with the concept of relative speed. 
distance travel will be length of the train plus length of the platform. 250 plus 350 that would be 600 meter. And again, distance is the speed into time. The distance is six. Let t seconds be the time taken by the train to cross the bridge of 230 meter. Distance travel would be this length of the train plus length of the bridge. That is 250 plus 230 is 480 meters. Again, by applying the formula, that is distance is equal to speed into time is t equals to 40 seconds. Here, see, there are three objects. First one is platform, other one is train, and the third one is bridge. By using the first is point, that is between train distance travel would be length of the train plus length of the platform by using that i am getting the speed of train this is how adding the time taken by the train to cross the bridge. Now it is clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. For the next example, a train passes a platform 90 meter long in 30 seconds and a man standing on the platform in 15 seconds. The speed of train is C. What is given here? That the speed of train, I have to find the speed of train, let it be x meter per second and the length of the train be y meter. Then, length of the train upon speed of the train will be time taken by the train to pass the man. Implies x upon y is equals to 15. Hence, y will be 15x. length of the train and the length of the platform upon speed of the train would be time taken by the train to cross the platform. Here also we are introducing the relation between main, train and platform. Implies y plus 19 upon x will be 30. The solving the equation you are getting y plus 19 equals 30x. Put the value of y from 1 you get 15x plus 90 equals to 30x. From this, you will get the value of x that is 6 meter per second. But in questions, they are asking the speed of a train in kilometer per hour. So you need to multiply 6 by 18 upon 5. So the next one. Two trains running in opposite direction crosses a man standing on the platform in 27 seconds and 17 seconds respectively, and they cross each other in 23 seconds. Find the ratio of the speed. Let I don't know what are the speeds of both the trains. So I X and Y respectively. Length of the first train is 27x as distance is equal to speed into time. The, the time of my first train is 27 seconds and speed I am considering x. That is why the length of first train would be 27x. And that of the second train would be 17y as the time covered by the second one is 17 and the speed is y. Time taken to cross each other would be total distance upon total speed that is 23 seconds. By creating both the equations, 27x plus 17y equals to 23x plus 23y, you will get 4x equals to 6y and the ratio will be 3 ratio 2. See the next example. Meter long is running with the speed of 68 km per hour. In what time will it pass a man 
who is running at 8 km per hour in the same direction in which train is going. Again, it is the question that is related to the relative speed concept. Here, speed of train related to the map. As the both are moving in the same direction, therefore the relative speed would be 60 km per hour. Meter long. The unit is given in meter, therefore I am converting the relative speed into meter per second. So I am multiplying 60 by 5 upon 18. So the speed of the train relative to the mean is 50 upon 3 meter per second. Time taken by the train to cross the line will be distance upon speed. So my distance here is 150 and my speed is multiplying by 3 upon 50 seconds, I am getting 9 seconds. Okay. One should focus on what is given, what needs to be calculated, what is the relation between them. It means you need to play with the parameters that is speed, distance, and time. See, the first problem person crosses a 600 meter long street in five minutes. What is his speed in kilometer per hour? See, what is given? Distance is given and time is given. And I have to calculate the speed in kilometer per hour. Here distance, time is in five minutes. So first, what am I doing? I am converting the minute into second. So time is 5 into 60 seconds, that is 300 seconds. I need to calculate the speed. So the formula for that is distance upon time. That was 600 upon 300 will be 2 meter per second. But in this question, I want the speed in kilometer per hour. So we need to multiply the 2 by 18 upon 5. So we will get 7.2 kilometer per hour. It means the speed is 7.2 kilometer per hour. In all the questions, you just need to focus on what are the terms that are given and what you need to calculate and what is the formula you can apply. The next example. There was a certain distance at a speed of 240 kilometer per hour in five hours. Okay, what is distance? I don't know what is the distance, but the speed and time is given. To cover the same distance in one two by three hours, it must travel. In first statement, speed and time is given. Using that, I will calculate the distance travel the aeroplane. That is 240 into 5 is equals to 1200 kilometers. This is the distance traveled by the airplane. The same distance is traveled. The same distance I am considering in the second line where my time is 1, 2 by 3. I need to calculate the speed. As from when I am getting the speed that is 1200 kilometer by applying the formula of speed. That is distance upon time. The distance is 1200 and the time is by converting this mixed fraction into fractional form, I am getting 5 upon 3 kilometer per hour. So the required pay would be 1200 into 3 by 5 kilometer per hour. By solving this, I am getting 720 kilometer per hour. So the answer is 720 kilometer per hour. In this case, what I am doing, I am first calculating the distance that is not given in the question by using the first statement and using that distance into second statement to calculate the distance. See the next example. A person walks at 14 km per hour instead of 10 km per hour. He would have for 20 km more. What would be the actual distance travel? Is it 50 km, 56 km, 70 km, or 80 km? See, I don't know. I have to calculate the actual distance. So I am assuming that my distance is x km. As time is the same in both the cases, here I am doing distance upon speed, that is x upon 10. The distance travel when he is moving with the speed of 10 km per hour is x. And then he is moving with the speed of 14 km per hour 
then the distance traveled by him is 20 kilometer more. That is why I am doing here x plus 20 upon 40. That implies by solving the equation, we get 40x is equal to 10x plus 200. And after that, you will get 4x will be 200. And the solution by solving the value for x, you will get x that is 50 kilometer. What is my x? x is the actual distance traveled by him. Therefore, the answer is 50 kilometer. See the next one. Excluding stoppages. The speed of a bus is 54 km per hour, and including stoppages, it is 45 km per hour. For how many minutes does the bus stops per hour? I need to calculate the time. Is it 9 minutes, 10, 12, or 20? Two do stoppages as first of all, it covers 54 km per hour and after that 45 km per hour. So the difference is 9 km. As it is in per hour, you can calculate the distance. Time taken to cover 9 km is distance upon speed. Speed is the first speed, that is speed that is 54 km per hour. So by applying the formula, 9 upon 54, you are getting 1 by 6 seconds. But this is not the answer. As they want the answer in minutes, you need to convert it into minutes. So you add multiplying by 60 and you will get 10 minutes. So the answer is 10 minutes. Next example. The driver of a Maruti car driving at a speed of 68 km per hour locates a bus that is 40 meter ahead of him. After 10 seconds, the bus is 60 meter. Find the speed of bus. Is it 32 km per hour, 42 km per hour, 56 or 60? See, here you have two things. First one is Maruti car and the other is bus. It means here and the both are moving. You need to apply here the concept of related speed. See, related means and comparison to. Related speed is the speed of one object with respect to other. It is possible that, that both the objects are moving or one of them is stationary. As we have seen the example for a train and a platform with the platform is in stationary mode. Things to know. Suppose that you have two bodies that the both are moving in the same direction. Suppose the speed of first body is x and the speed of second body is y. Then the related speed will be x minus y. Then the time will be distance upon speed. Distance is the total distance traveled by the objects and upon the relative speed. Again, it is the case when the objects are moving in the same direction. Related speed would be addition of both the speeds when they both the objects are moving in the opposite direction. Your speed will be x plus y. So using that logic, let's suppose that I have to find the speed of bus and I don't know what is it. I am assuming that my speed of bus is x kilometer per hour. Now in 10 seconds, car covers the relative distance. It is given in the question that in 10 seconds means your time interval is 10 seconds. The distance would be 60 plus 40, that is 100 meter. Relative speed would be distance upon time, that is 10 meter per second. I am converting this into kilometer per hour, so I am the term, the 80 per term five, that is 36 kilometer per hour. For relative speed, that is the speed of car minus the speed of a bus. I have the relative speed, that is 36. I have the speed of car that is question that is given in the question that is 68 and I don't know the speed of the bus and I am assuming that it would be x. So by solving for x, the value of x that is speed of bus is 32 km per hour. We need to be very careful about the units. So option A is true. Now suppose if a person goes around the equilateral triangle shaped field at a speed of 10, 20, and 40 km per hour on the first, second, and third, then find the average speed during the journey. What is given? They have given me the speed when it is traveling from different points and 
it is given equilateral triangle. Then all the sides of the triangles are same. Then find the average speed C. At the measure of each side of the triangle is D kilometer. The person travel the distance from A to B with 10 km per hour, from B to C 20 km per hour, and from C to A with 40 km per hour. C. B. 1. With the time taken by the person to travel from A to B. D. 2. With the time taken by the person to travel from B to C. D. 3. With the time taken by the person to travel from C to A. So the total time is T1 plus T2 plus T3. As T is distance upon time and the distance in each in between the points, that is from A to B, B to C, C to A, and all are equally to a triangle, so the distance will be same. So now I am taking here the distance that is D. So the time will be D upon 10, as from A to B, it is moving with the speed 10. Second one is D upon 20, as from B to C, it is moving with the speed 20. And the third time will be D upon 40, as from C to B, it is moving with the speed 40. By solving this, I am getting 7D upon 40. And it is also given the total distance would be what? 3D. Average speed will be distance upon time. So 3D upon Example: Two guns were fired from the same place at an interval of 15 minutes, but the person in a bus approaching the place hears the second report 14 minutes and 30 seconds after the first. Find the speed of a bus, supposing that sound travels 330 meter per second. Here, what I have to find? I have to find the speed of the bus. See. Distance travelled by the bus in 40 minutes, 30 seconds would be travelled by the sun. Forty minutes, 30 seconds, that is 30 seconds. Bus travels, that is distance would be 330 into 30 in 14, 1 by 2 minutes. I need to calculate the speed. Here I have both the terms that I have distance as well as time. By applying the formula, that is a speed, is equals to distance upon time. Yes, 60 and 1000. As by converting the mixed upon, that is 14, 1 by 2, you will get 29 upon 2 minutes. But I want, I am want the answer in hours. So I am dividing the term by 60, so that I will get the value in hours. In the same manner, the distance is in meter. So I am converting that into kilometer. Therefore, the 60 and 1000, following this, you will get 99 into 12 upon 29, that is equals to 1188 upon 29, that is equals to 40, 28 by 29 kilometer per hour. See the next example. Two trains A and B started at a time towards each other. After crossing each other, it took 16 hours and 25 hours respectively to reach their destination. If A had 40 km per hour speed. What is the speed of B? Both the trains moving towards each other and they are crossing. After crossing, they are traveling 16 hours and 20 hours respectively. See. A in T hours, B in 25 hours. From R to Q, A in 16 hours and B in T hours. Let us say that A and B started from point P and Q respectively and met at a point in the middle after T. Speed of A is given to us as 40 km per hour. I have to calculate the speed of P, that is S. If we consider the distance PR that is covered by A in T hours and B after reaching R, is covering 25 hours, therefore I am getting here 4 into T that is equals to S into 25. If we consider the distance RQ, it was covered by B in T hours and A in 16 hours, so RQ distance will be equals to S into T 
that is equal to 40 into 16. Let us divide the two equations. We will get the equation 40D upon ST is equal to 25S upon 640. So 40 upon S is equal to 40 upon 128. For solving this for S, we will get this be 1024. By converting this into kilometer per hour, it is 32 kilometer per hour. There is also a shortcut form, but for that you need to know the formula that we have discussed before. If two trains start at the same turn from point A and B towards each other, and after crossing the track, they take A and B hours in reaching B and A respectively, then the ratio of space will be ratio of under root of B to the under root of A. Here in the question, it is given speed of train A, and I need to calculate the speed of the second train. Okay, the time for both the train is given, that is 25 upon 16. By calculating this, you will get 5 upon 4. 5 upon 4. So, speed of train is 32 kilometer per hour. This, by using this formula, you will get the answer very quickly and the exact answer that is required in competitive exams as it is also dependent on time. The next example, a boy walking at 3 by 5 of his usual speed reaches his school 14 minutes late. Find his usual time to reach the school. See, if new speed is a by b of the usual speed, then the formula for the usual time would be change in time upon b by a minus 1. A change in time is what given in the question that is 14 minutes late. So the usual time would be 14 upon b by 2, that is 21. So the answer is b. Yeah, I am using the formula of usual time. Three kilometer per faster. It would have taken three minutes less. If you have two kilometer per slower, would it have taken when they are to find the original speed? All the times what is given is not necessary that we have to consider all the quantities. This is just to make the problems more complex. So you need to take care that. With the given information, what you want to calculate, what you want, know, what they are asking in the questions. Here, they want to know the original space. Speed of man, I am considering a cat in a scooter. That is three kilometers faster, then it will be 20 minutes less. And if it travels with two kilometers, 20 minutes slower. Things to know. A man covers a certain speed, that is t. If he moves s1 speed faster, he would have taken t less. And if he moves s2 speed slower, he would have taken t more. So the formula for original speed is 2 into s1 into s2, or s2 minus s1. And the question s1 and s2 both is given. So simply by using the formula, Option is A. It's beneficial in most of the competitive exams if you know the formula and see it is directly applicable. See the next example. A boy walking at a speed of 10 km per hour reaches his school 12 minutes late. Next time at the speed of 15 km per hour reaches his school 7 minutes late. Find the distance of his school from the house. I here need to calculate the distance. Here also I am using one of the formula that is if a person with two different speeds, that is Q and V, covers the same distance, then the required distance would be U into V by U minus V into difference between the arrival time. So here speed is given, time is given, and the difference between them is five minutes. Converting the minutes into hours, I am getting 1 upon 12. But 
distance as two of my scales are 15 and 10. So by applying the formula, I am getting 15 upon 10 upon 15 minus 10 multiplied by 1.5. That is the required distance will be 2.5 kilometers. Option D is true. So we have learned two new formulas that will definitely help you to solve the problems more easily and with precise manner. See the next example. A man travels 120 km by ship, 450 km by rail, and 60 m by hours. By taking all together, the total time is 13 hours 30 minutes. The speed of the train is three times that of the hour, hours and one one by two times that of the ship. I need to find the speed of freight. Suppose most in most of the questions, when you don't know what, um, when they are asking for something, we are assuming that quantity to be any variable that is x or y. These are the options. See, what the problem tells you. Travel a distance 120 by ship, 450 by train, and 60 by horse. And the total time is 13 over 30 minutes. So here speed is not given, but they have given you the relation between the speed of horse, train, and ship. Let's suppose the speed of horse is x, then the speed of train is what three times that of the horse. That therefore the speed of train is 3x, and the speed of ship is what the speed of train is 1, 1 by 2 of speed of ship. Therefore, the speed of ship is 3x upon 3 by 2. You will get 2x kilometer per hour. So I have speed of all the transportations in terms of x. And I have the total time. And after converting that time into fractional form, I am getting 27 by 2. And using the distance and speed formulas, I will get the equations 120 upon 2x. 450 upon 3x, 60 upon x. As the distance traveled by the horse is 60 and the speed is x. Distance traveled by the ship is 120 and the speed is 2x. And the distance traveled by the train is 450 and the speed is 3x. By solving this, you will get the equation 270 upon x that is equals to 27 by 2. By solving this, you will get the value of x. But see here. What they are asking for, they don't want the value of x because x here is the speed of horse. They want the value of train. It means the speed of train. This is not x. The speed of train is 3x. Therefore, you need to multiply the 20 by 3 and you will get the speed of train that is 60 km per hour. So your answer is 60 km per hour. The next example. A man writes one third of the distance from A and B at the rate of A. remainder at the rate of 2B km per hour. This is what speed. If he had traveled at the uniform rate of 3C km per hour, he would have brought from A to B and back again in the same time. Find the relationship between A, B, and C. See that the distance from A to B is X km. Even and K2 with the time taken by when he travel at the x distance with the speed of 3a and t2 is the given time when he travel distance to x with the speed of 6b. So the total time will be t1 plus t2. You will get the relation that is x multiplied by a plus b upon 3a. T3 with the time taken with the average uniform speed is 3c that is given in the question and for with that speed it is also given that he moves from a to b and back from b to a therefore the distance in this case is 2x i have the distance and i have the speed therefore the expression for t3 is 2x upon 3c by equating both the time I am getting the relation that is C is equals to 2AB by A plus B. So all the time we need to find the relation between different terms and use the formula for speed, distance, and time. Next example, 
two places R and S are 800 km apart from each other. Two persons start from R towards Whereas A leaves R for S before B. The speed of A and B are 40 km per hour and 60 km per hour. B overtakes A at M, which is on the same way from the R to S. What is the extra time taken by A to reach at S? If the distance is 800 km, two men are walking and they are at the interval of two hours. As A moves before B, therefore, you will get a relation like this. As the speed and time, speed and distance both is given. Speed of A is 40. Therefore, by solving, you will get 20 hours. And the time taken by B is distance upon speed. Distance is 800 and speed of B is 60. Therefore, the time taken by B is 13 hours. Difference between them will be 6 hours 20 minutes. This is what my answer is. So the option B is true. The next one, Anita goes to college at 20 km per hour and reaches college four minutes late. Next time she goes at 25 km per hour and reaches the college two minutes earlier. Then they schedule them. What is the distance of our school? I don't know what is the distance. I am here first of all presuming that let x be the time. 20 km per hour Anita reaches four minutes late. Therefore, if my time is x 4 minutes late, therefore you will get the expression that is x minus 4. At a speed of 25 km per hour, Anita reaches 2 minutes earlier. Therefore, you will get x plus 2 minutes. So the change in time is x plus 2 minus x plus 4, that is 6 minutes. But it is in minutes. By, for, by converting it into hours, the distance is 25 into 20 upon 25 minus 20 into 1 upon 10. Here, I am using the concept that if a person with two difference is speed, in the question, both the speeds are given, what you need to calculate? You need to calculate the difference in arrival time. That we are getting 6 minutes and 1 upon 10 hours. So by using this concept, you will get the distance that is 10 kilometers. So option D is true. These formulas are very important based on the competitive exams. See the next one. Ajay covers a certain distance with his own speed, but when he reduces his speed by 10 km per hour, his time duration for the journey increases by 40 hours. While if he increases his speed by 5 km per hour from his original speed, he takes 10 hours less than the original time taken. Find the distance covered by him. See. I don't know what is the distance, I don't know what is the speed. But I am assuming here x be the distance and y be the speed. So the time will be x by y. Original time will be x by y. When he moves 10 minutes, um, when he moves 10 meter per second faster, so we'll get this expression that is x upon y minus 10 minus x by y goes to 40. The difference is 40. When he moves with the speed 5 meter per second, we will get the relation that is equation 2, represented by equation 2. By solving these two equations, you will get x is equal to 4 by multiplied by 5 minus 10. And x is equal to 2 by multiplied by 5 plus 5. And solving for x in here, here they want what is the distance. Here x represents the distance. Therefore, 1500 is the answer. That is, option C is true. In the next example, the driver of an ambulance sees a college bus 40 meters ahead of him. After 20 seconds, the college bus is 60 meters behind. If the speed of ambulance is 30 km per hour, what is the speed of college bus? This is the question that is based on relative speed. Here, see, the distance is given. 40 and 60. And the time interval is given 20 seconds. 
thing. By using that, you will calculate the relative speed that is total distance upon total time, that is 60 plus 40, and the time interval is 20. So from this, you are getting relative speed. But I, am, I want the equation in terms of kilometer per hour. So by multiplying the point with 18.5, you will get 18 kilometer per hour. This is what my relative speed is. Relative speed is given by speed of ambulance minus speed of college bus. Therefore, the speed of college bus is speed of ambulance minus relative speed. Speed of ambulance is given in the question that is 30, and the relative speed that we have calculated is 80. Therefore, you are getting 12 km per hour. See so the next one. Two rabbits start running towards each other, one from A to B and another from B to A. They cross each other after one hour and the first rabbit reaches the six hours before the second rabbit. What is the speed of this little rabbit? Okay, we have two rabbits, one started from point A and the other from point B. They meet after one hour. And the distance between A and B is 50 kilometers. So I need to find the relation that I have to find the second rapid takes x hour with the speed s2. Therefore, the first one takes 5 by 6 hours less. So the time is x minus 5 by 6 and the speed is s2. Total distance is 50 km. So the speed 1 will be distance upon time taken by first rapid. And S2 will be total distance upon time taken by the second rabbit. They cross each other in one hour, and total speed would be S1 plus S2, and the time would be distance upon speed. The time here is 1. The speed by doing S1 plus S2, you will get to the relation, and you will find the value that is x is equals to 5. By putting the value of x, you will get the kilometer per hour, which is what the speed of second rapid. Therefore, option A is true. See the next example. Rana walked at 5 kilometer per hour in a certain part of the journey, then he took an order for a remaining part of the journey, traveling at 25 kilometer per hour. If he took 10 hours for the entire journey, what part of the journey did he travel by the order? If the Given total time is given 10 hours, so and total speed is given 17 km per hour. So, by using speed and time, I will calculate the total distance that is one kilometer. I need to calculate the journey traveled by auto. I suppose that it would be x by using the relation total distance is 170. And the total time, uh, I su uh, suppose that uh, time taken by the auto is x with the speed 25. So that would be 25 into x and the remaining time will be 10 minus x with the speed of 5. Five x plus 50 minus 5x that is 170. distance is 6 into 25 that is 150 kilometers therefore option C is true example is a truck covers a distance of 376 kilometers at a certain speed in 8 hours what is given distance and speed is given how much time would a car take at an average speed which is 18 km per hour more than that of the speed of the truck to cover a distance which is 14 km more than that of travel of the truck. See, what I need to calculate how much time. First, we will see what is given. I am putting here the speed of truck as a distance traveled by the truck and the time taken by the truck is given. 
therefore speed of the truck is 47 km per hour speed of the car is 18 km per hour more than the speed of truck therefore it is 65 km per hour distance traveled by the car is 14 more than the distance traveled by the truck therefore it is 390 km so the time taken is distance upon speed 390 upon 65 that is 6 hours option a is true the next example two cars named with a and b starts simultaneously from a certain place at the speed of 40 km per hour and 55 km per hour respectively the car B reaches the destination two hours earlier than A. What is the time taken between the starting point and the destination? C. Let the time taken by the car A to reach the destination is T hours. So the time taken by the car B to reach the destination is T minus two hours as B reaches earlier. As the distance is same, we got the relation that is S1 T is equal to S2 T2. S1 is what? 40, the speed of car A, and S2 is 55, the speed of car B. By solving the equation, we will get 40 T that is equal to 55 T minus 110. 15 T equals to 110, and the time is 7. For next example, the ratio between the rate of the speed traveling of A and B is 2 pressure 3 and therefore A takes 20 minutes more than the time taken by the B to reach the particular destination. If A had walked at double the speed, how long could he have taken to cover the distance? Distance over the time. The time. Given E and A takes 10 T minutes and t plus 20 minutes respectively. Speed is inversely proportional to the time. So the ratio of time taken by A and B is reciprocal of the ratio of speed. We will get the relation t plus 20 upon t is equal to 3 by 2. By solving this, you will get the value of t that is 40. Therefore, a takes time t plus 20 by putting the value of t that is 40 we will get a takes time 60 minutes but what is given if a had walked at the double speed and the relation between speed and time is inversely proportional if my speed is double my time will be half therefore my time will become half of the previous time that is 30 minutes if I increase the speed twice. To the next one, a train 300 meter lot is running at a speed of 90 km per hour. What is given? Distance is given and speed is given. How many seconds will it take to cross a 200 meter long train running in the same direction at the speed of 60 km per hour? See, here we have two trains, they both are moving in the same direction. Therefore, what you need to do, you will calculate the relative speed by subtracting both the speeds. The total distance will be 300 plus 200, that is 500 meters. Relative speed will be 30, but you need to calculate all the all the parameters into same units. Therefore, to convert the speed, that is in kilometer per hour, into meter per second by multiply it by 5 upon 80. So, the time taken will be distance upon speed. By solving this, we will get 60 seconds. So, option B is true. So, the next example, two trains are running in opposite direction with the same speed. Same speed, okay. If the length of each train is 135 meters, length of both the trains are also same. It is what 135x and the speed of both the trains will be suppose x. And they crosses each other in 18 seconds. They crosses each other in 18 seconds. We have to find the speed of each train. See, the speed of each train is x and the speed is same. 
for both the trains. And the length is 135 meter, that is length of each train. Process each other in 18 seconds using the concept of relative speed, that is total length upon relative speed. Total length will be 135 plus 135 and total speed will be x plus x that is 2x and the total time is 18. By converting the unit that is in meter per second into kilometer per hour we get 27 kilometer per hour. So option C is true. Amit started cycling along the boundaries of a square field from cover point A. After half an hour, he reached the corner point C, diagonally opposite to A. If his speed was 8 km per hour, what is the area? Say, this is my square. Therefore, the distance, I don't know what is the distance. I am assuming the distance is x, as it is a square. The distance would be same for all the cells, therefore AB is X, BC is X, CD is X, and DA is X. Distance covered from A to C. Therefore, when he moves from A to C, the total distance covered is 2X. Distance would be speed into time. That is, speed is given A and the time is given 1 by 2 hours. Therefore, you will get the value of X that is 2 kilometers. It means x is what the distance and it is also the distance between the two points that is a, b, b, c, c, d and d. As this will represent the side of a square and the length of the side of the square I am getting here is 2. And the area of the square is given by side into side. Therefore, when I am multiplying 2 into 2, I am getting 4 km per square. 4 km square. Therefore, option A is true. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for such an knowledge sharing lecture. Now we are going to start question answer session. If any participant have any question, they can type in the chat box. Okay, then there is an announcement to be made as there is a slight change in the schedule for tomorrow and day after tomorrow's session. We have a new schedule for 25th October. We have Milan Patel with us on topic permutation and combination. And on 26th of October, we have Siddhan Trivedi on time and board. On behalf of KS School of Business Management, I thank Thank you, Ms. Kavita Rabadi, for delivering such an informative talk. Thank you, Arshi. Thank you. Shall I leave? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you.